Welcome to Behind the Design. Uh, we are at the Jones residence today and it is raining out here right now, so I'm gonna take you guys through this design really quickly. I wanted to show you the little details that went into this design that we didn't get to talk about during the full episode. So let's uh, get going on that. Um, as you guys may remember, these Adirondack chairs were originally more of a seafoam green color and then we changed them to more of a blue and um, I will tag the color below because I can't remember it right off the top of my head right now, but I'm gonna tag it below so you guys know what color that we used for this. Um, Mike Thompson did this amazing concrete. Um, it's a gray uh, concrete and it's stained, and the stain is actually mixed into the concrete, and so it's not a surface um, level stain. It actually is inside the concrete, and that's what I love the most about um, that. So it's consistent, so you'll never rub it off. It will always stay this gray color. Um, he did a scoring technique on top to give it a tile look and to add a little bit of visual interest to it. Um, and then, of course, there's expansion joints for the more practical end of heat and cold and all that. So um, moving back here, this fire pit, the um, homeowners already owned. And so we use that again to save a little bit of money on the job. And then they have an endless supply of driftwood at this project um, from the bay that just comes in all the time. So they dry it out and they can use it for their fire pit as well. Um, some, uh, we went with some, you know, some solid color pillows here. This is a gray, these are outdoor fabric. This is a sunbrella. And all four of these came from Home Goods in packs of two. And I think they're about 20 bucks for two. So $10 a pillow, not bad at all for um, an exterior uh, pillow. Um, here on the ground, we used, uh, this is like a cricket jar basically, and they put an LED light inside. Uh, and these are from, Am these lights are from Amazon and you can get a pack of two for I think $10. So those are great for outdoor spaces too because those are actually waterproof lights. Um, and as we back up, uh, I've used these on another job before you may recognize them. These are the IKEA side tables. This is black in the last project. I think we used the sage green color. But um, any way you, you put it, this is a really great outdoor side table that's really inexpensive. It's about $20 at IKEA. And then um, the sectional JoLynn picked up, I believe, from Wayfair. I think it was like 500 bucks for the entire set, including um, you know all the cushions, all of the, the individual seats. And then we put uh, outdoor pillows on each one. This, these are, and you can tell they're already repelling um, water, which is great. Uh, and these were about $10 at Southeastern Salvage, which is a local place here in Mobile that I love and go to to just source little things like accessories all the time. Um, our table here, um, coffee table, I wanted something that was low and long and had a bit, bit of visual texture to it, which is, um, this really fits the bill for that. It's got this nice medallion pattern to the top of it um, so that we don't have to put as many accessories on it to add that interest. So that cuts down on the amount of things that they have to have out in the space. And then finally, we have just another set of pillows here. Um, I believe these also came from Southeastern Salvage and they were about $15 a piece, um, but they draw that color that we used from the um, Adirondack chairs over to this side of the patio. So what it does is just to kind of like draw every, everything together and create that consistent look from each side of the patio to the other. And I think that's pretty much, oh, let's talk about the plants too. I forgot about the plants. Um, remember we talked on the show about having these, um, and I'll step underneath this rain so you can see here. Um, these gardenias are dwarf gardenias. You probably know that in the south we love our gardenias. They'll bloom, you can see this one's blooming here. It has an amazing smell to it. Um, usually they start off white and they yellow a little bit, but these will all stay very low. You can see that the um, windows here are very low, so we don't want a shrub that gets up too high, but we also wanted a little bit of a barrier between the concrete patio and the house so that we didn't just have solid, you know, hardscape all the way to the house. So we wanted to soften up a little bit with some plants. These were a good option for them. And then if we back up, you can see on the corners here, we have irises, agapanthus, and then a little bit of variegated liriope, which adds to um, just a little bit of a color variation back here. But everything here blooms. We've got white, we've got a little bit of purple, and then these will also bl bloom kind of a creamy white color with a purple center. So overall, we have um, you know something that stays evergreen for the landscape, creates that green buffer between the house and the um, concrete patio, and then blooms. So it'll be beautiful from you know every every uh, season there'll be something blooming. So I think that's everything. I hope you guys have all the details that you need for this job. If you have any questions, you can comment below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. All right, until next time, this is Simple Honest Design behind the design.